What's up guys, Bergs here again to make you fall in love with all things physical therapy and in today's video, I'm going to show you the day to day of physical therapy school. So here's the kicker here, I won't actually go to class until September. I just finished my first year, I'm about to go on my first full time internship in two days. So there is no class, I'm just going to try my best to reenact my whole week and show you, you know, how I do things. So before I start. Let me show you my weekly schedule. So this is my ride guys, school is 20 minutes away from me so I either take the bus or I just bike to school. Whoa, 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 what just happened there? You know, sometimes, you know, you wake up too late or you're just too lazy to bike the whole way. So what you do is you take the bus, you put the bike on the bus, and then you bike the rest of the way, you know. So this is it, guys. This is literally the room where we practice all of our psychomotor skills. Let me give you a 360 of the room. Yeah, any special test, examination, and intervention skills that you know of, we learn all of them here and practice them all in this room. And also, this room is also a, a, a lecture room. Sometimes we spend like three or four hours in this room, like doing lectures, going over biomechanics, um, going over um, um, articles and such. It can get pretty boring going over lectures for like three to four hours. So when that happens, we usually go outside and get some coffee. Tuesday morning and Friday morning, we're not here. We are either in clinicals or we have seminars. So almost everything we do here, we do it in a team-based setting. When we go over cases, we go over cases in our groups. We question each other a lot. We quiz each other a lot. Sometimes it's not a good way to spend our lecture time, but the majority of time, we have a lot of fun. So if you look closely at the schedule, we have like a huge gap from 11 to 2 p.m. What do we do with a three-hour lunch break? Squeezing a workout. So one thing about this gym is that it's very close to our school. So we can literally walk there and get there in like five minutes. Um, funny thing is, doing that three hour lunch break like a lot of us come here and we leave some stress. So there'll be like 30 people within that small gym just working out. And the out showers. That's a bonus. Remember earlier when I was talking about seminars? Well, this is where seminar happens for me. Right here in this room, 
Every Friday I come here from 8 to 10 and join my seminar group. Each seminar group has like 8 to, eight to 9 students and we just literally go over cases. Uh, this is an example of a case. So after we read the case, we come up with examination technique, intervention that we're gonna do for that person, and then we discuss the findings. Our seminar leader, you know, challenge us on why we pick certain intervention, why we pick certain examination technique. You know, it's, it's to reinforce what we learn throughout the week so we can make better clinical judgment. So most Fridays after my seminar, I either go volunteer at a hospital or work on a blog or work on a YouTube video for you guys like I'm doing right now, or I just go play soccer. Yeah, I need this, man, at least once every month. Otherwise, I start going crazy. So typically after class ends, around like 4.45, 5 o'clock, I usually come to the library and try to suck up everything that I just learned. This is literally where, if I remember anything from PT school, this is literally where it happens. Right here, on this chair. This is where I suck up all the materials. This is where I remember everything or relearn everything that I just learned. Give you a little tour of what the place looks like. Yeah, this is where a future physical therapist is made, right here in this room. I'm whispering because there are people actually studying right now. So after three hours of studying, I typically come home around that time, you know, get something to eat, take a quick shower. And I usually try to catch up on a YouTube video, um, catch up on a Casey Neistat video. I love his, this guy video, this guy's great. And um, after that, I just pass out and I repeat the same thing over and over until the week is over. Um, next month, I'm gonna show you guys the footage of um, how my internship is going. Stay tuned for that. Until then, take care and do what you gotta do.